check out this abacus on an m1 mac it really works same for ansys but what about the performance does it only work is it usable or how does it compare to a windows workstation let's find out hello everyone in a previous video i showed my first impression of running engineering software on an m1 macbook i showed how some windows apps can work on an arm version of windows installed as a virtual machine in utm however i ended up switching from utm to parallel due to the lack of support for graphical engines first i have to mention parallel is not free but at the moment it is the only virtual machine software for m1 cpus that officially supports gpu for windows be it for gaming purposes or other apps with some graphical requirements so i think it is well worth the money and what a pleasing experience of installing windows in fact once you run parallel just a single click and a few minutes of connection to the internet and you have a fresh installation of windows 11 arm version in front of you ready for use it is as easy as installing a tiny app on your smartphone from app store so without further ado i started using it by installing abacus 2021 as you can see the software was able to run smoothly with no glitch or performance issues in the gui i worked with some assemblies with hundreds of parts embedded and the experience was flawless so i decided to run a performance comparison not a small task, something intense and a full example of a real world need in the industry. I got a model from my archive, a polymer concrete tank with a jungle of FRP reinforcement in it. Due to some refinements in that project, the model was meshed with over 4 million solid elements all surrounded by composite shell overlays. I analyzed the model once again using my dual Xeon HP workstation as well as this MacBook Pro with M1 Max CPU. Both computers were set to use 4 CPU cores, well, that's the maximum I can use based on the number of tokens I have available. And here is the results of the comparison. The MacBook with M1 Max CPU finished the analysis almost 11% faster than the HP workstation with dual Xeon Gold 6144 CPU. However, when the GPU processing was activated on the HP workstation, the Windows PC was able to finish the same analysis almost 35% faster than the MacBook thanks to the great GPU acceleration of the legendary Quadro GB100. But don't forget that this GPU alone costs almost 3 times the MacBook and it is made based on Tesla architecture of Nvidia for heavy calculations in data centers and calculation labs. Honestly, I was shocked by the results. So I did the comparison one more time using a different model. To my surprise, I got quite similar results. Even though there was no way of utilizing the GPU power of M1 Max CPU for calculations in Abacus, that was still an impressive performance. To expand our coverage for this video, I also tried ANSYS Workbench 2021. It's been quite a while since the last time I personally used ANSYS. So I asked one of my friends to help with the comparison. And once again, good news this time for ANSYS lovers. We got quite comparable results with only small differences in favor of our Windows workstation. The overall experience of using ANSYS GUI was also quite satisfactory and with no graphical problems. Looking at the results, I was wondering what could be the possible justification for such an impressive performance. We should note that the MacBook was running an ARM version of Windows through virtual machine inside which Abacus was also running via the built-in 64-bit emulator for Windows 11 R. I want to call this the most non-native scenario. In fact, I was not even sure that Abacus can run on an ARM version of Windows, but thanks to Microsoft, it seems that they did a great job. I would say at the moment, Windows for ARM runs better on M1 Macs than on Microsoft's own ARM hardware like Surface X. I will get back to this performance topic in another video after running some more tests. However, the part that impresses me the most is that this laptop shows such a performance on battery and without even kicking the fan to an audible level or resulting in any noticeable heat at any point of the laptop. My friend had a good suggestion. If there is going to be a new picture dictionary, we need a photo of these MacBooks in front of the word efficiency. 
I am both optimistic and excited about the future of Windows laptops based on ARM CPUs. Because now that many developers have started building their apps for Mac computers with ARM architecture, it would be easier to also port them for ARM based Windows machines. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. This is Hamid DLL, and I will catch you in the next video.